Good morning. Welcome to Lincolnshire. You, 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 I'm this three years in. Don't want to be a jock in a frock. <laughs> um, I'm in the Carando, finishing my lunch and getting back on the way quite soon. So. Good morning, good afternoon. It's raining again and it's still good Friday. Look at that for a rainbow. Absolutely, that is one of the best rainbows, a double showing. One of the best rainbows I have ever, ever seen. Look at that, how beautiful is that? And there's a black Corando. Come on, we've got a guest, we've got a guest. We've got a guest, we've got a guest. We've got a guest. Welcome to Lincolnshire. You, 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 I'm three years into becoming a yellow belly. Apparently, apparently you can't become a yellow belly until you're five years here. And I'm on my, my third year. I've just arrived. Have I just arrived? I don't know when did we count. From? About half an hour ago. I've got so. the keys. You've got the keys. Got you know, keys. No, but you, you have actually got the keys. You've yes. got the key of the door. Never been before. It's been so strange. Like, how long have we owned it? Is it third week now? And... Obviously, I'm still working. <laughs> it's been really surreal. It's know. going to be when you, when you go in. Uh, as I say, um, everything's sort of in its place, but everything is not. I'm not unpacked because I'm going to leave no, that no, to you and no, the decorating. But the everything will click into place. Of, sorting out. We need to get rid of more stuff, by the way, as well. I've even got a plan for your books, and it's a, and it's a nice plan. It's been nice to your husband. Well, Have you shrunk again? No. It's, it's been nice to your husband. Plan. Nice to your husband plan or nice to your wife plan? No, it'd be nice to your husband. I've got a plan for your books. And you don't involve burning them up. I, I, was, I did have them all here, but nobody would take them. Very funny. Right, so all being well, in a couple of hours, I'm going to come and join you at the bungalow and we'll get a Chinese and just hope we don't have any dramas here. I'll be all right. As soon as you arrive, what, what happened? Electric, mm. electric. Yeah, for once, you didn't even have time to run out and stick a camera in my face, did you? How was the, how was the Corando? It was okay. It's going all right. Just the brakes are a bit soft, so there's yeah, it's, it's got new, a new disc or something on them. So they, I don't know whether they got greasy at some point, but they were terrible when I first picked it up. Yeah. Bedding in. Right, I'll let you get on your merry way and um, go safely down the back lanes because it's a bit like the Wild West out there. I just want to get back while it's still light and then I'm confident getting back there in yeah. the, the beast yeah. in, in the beast it's not the beast you've got a beast back at home Toyota that's the Corando you've got the you got a mini beast well that's the beast I thought your husband was the beast <laughs> very right, funny so we're in the we're in the bungalow we are the bungalow has got a name but on our vlogs we're not going to say the name of the bungalow so we must not say the name of the bungalow we're home is the main point it actually feels like home already so you've had your first couple of hours where you're the owner, you've got the keys, you've not got an estate agent or anything. Yeah. She's going to do light here because we're all in the shadow. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I've got, got the keys, got my bits in, made my first coffee, had my first sit down. First impression, even though it's quite a cool wind outside, it's still quite toasty and warm in here, so it must be well insulated, so quite impressed with that. Um, so spacious but still cosy, I would say. So I was trying to explain to Sandra, and I've not said on the vlog, so we knew this was quite a spacious bungalow when we bought it. Um, You're the one that kept saying it's small. Uh, it wasn't room. me. But there is a lot of space, and the gardens, are, are, you're going to be quite surprised how much grass you've got to cut uh, and everything. Yeah, we'll get that cut this weekend. So no. We'll so the, the bedroom is all going to be sort of, um, so we're getting that feature wall pulled off. Sandra's now nabbed changing wardrobe, so she's having my wardrobe and I'm having Sandra's wardrobe. We need a dress rail. We can swap it around one way or the other, I don't mind, but I need a dress rail. I don't need a dress rail. No, but you took it. <laughs> oh. I, 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 might, I might have gone Scottish, I might have said, wanted to be a jock in a frock. <laughs> um, so the next couple of days, let's say Sandra can have a bit of a source out on whatever but we're in no well, rush to do expectations, this expectations neil i'm knackered i'll do what i can but yeah 
we we'll make a start, but it's not going to happen this weekend. Yeah. No, but we're not going to be going out. I mean, I'm working tomorrow, and I'm not so sure what time I'm going to be back at. So you've got the whole day, uh, a couple of days to yeah, well, potter. Yeah, but I want to get out as well. I don't want to spend all my time here. No, you're well, going to need some time. Anyway, so, but it's, it's, it's big. The, the room's big. One of the weirdest ones is when we open our bedroom curtains, not being upstairs, it's looking down, it's sort of strange. I don't know why you were so surprised about that. It's a bungalow. <laughs> I know, but some, somebody says in the comments said, what's, what's it like living somewhere now without any stairs? Well, it will be a bit weird, yeah, but yeah. So I still get confused down here. Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> anyway. <coughs> so the wallpaper's getting stripped, fingers crossed, um, next week. And then the... Oh. Oh, somebody's. Oh, I'm, oh dear. Right, okay. Excuse me, you better pause. Right, just yeah, hang on a moment. Those of a certain age will remember some mothers do have them. Do you remember Frank Spencer? Where the dog did a whoopsie. Who's the dog? Oh, Betty. The dog's done a whoopsie. Rashi did a whoopsie. Anyway. It's not uh, Rashi's fault, it's just change the routine. And, yeah, and she's all very bouncy and giddy and everything, so. Um, I'm going to close the new curtains. Are you going to close the new curtains? All oh, right, okay. All right, so you, there you go. And saying, dark, Sandra, it is so dark where we are. There are no street lights. So obviously, in here, um, we've got to get a new TV cabinet over there. Whether or not we end up with a settee against the long wall, which would make more sense, you know, make the room bigger and the CD racks and everything. But you'll digest everything, Sandra, in here. Well, we might need a. He's saying that, but from what we discussed, we might need a complete rethink, actually. Possible. Definitely. Um, possible. Definitely. And then, obviously, the sort of breakfast room, dining room, kitchen room. I don't know what, what you'd call this. Uh, so, when we bought this, we knew this was spacious. But actually being in here now and extended the table, it, there's a lot of space in here. Um, serious amount of space. But compared to our old kitchen, there isn't as much kitchen unit space. But we have got this cupboard here, haven't we? To think about. And then what we're going to do with what's going on this wall here and all the rest of it, I've got no idea what the screws are there on that dip. A bit of a strange one, isn't it? Uh, and then we've got to get a fridge what fits the gap at some stage. Right, so you've got loads and loads and loads of stuff here, and I, I can't remember who it's all off. So I think this was um, from Peter Webster. Oh, Peter sent a super thanks. I'll say thanks. Uh, thank you, Peter, for your super thanks. Much appreciated. Uh, and I've got a selection of beers over here. Uh, and then... Are you going to let me drink any this time? Oh, Last time we drank all the beer. Yeah, I did drink all the beer. Um, Steph sent those chocolates, one for you and one for your mum. Somebody sent you a bottle of wine. Uh, you got all these cards. This that was off one. Peter Webster. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Peter. Don't don't you explain the mystery of the vase. Oh. I can. Um, yeah, anyway. Um so I sat with Mum a week or two ago and we were talking about the move and she was talking about when she moved from her previous flat and she was talking about she actually really, really regretted uh, getting rid of her Silvac um, flower vase. So she, she's always enjoyed flower arranging, you know, I think, especially when she was younger, but she still does. So I said, well, I'll have a look and see if I can find one. And we found this one, which is, um, I think, possibly a bit smaller, but yeah, very, very, very similar to the one that she had. So I said, I'll, I'll get it you for, uh, for a birthday present, Mum. Obviously, I have no address at the moment, so I said, I know, I'll, um, so I said, I'll look out for Mum's present. I'm going to get, going to send it to the nursery. And anyway, you forgot, <laughs> didn't you? Well, I didn't forget. It just it arrived. Is. But obviously, I've had stuff you. arriving all the time. It's just, I have no yeah. idea what's going on. 
And for the first yeah. time in five years, what else has happened? It's oh, a God. bit early, but yeah, happy birthday, Mum. <laughs> yeah, so that's the mystery vase. And for the first time in five years, I've actually got some birthday cards on display in, in, a, in a property. Then yeah. I've not gone... Oh yeah, it's hiding. Yeah. You're hiding my card for some reason. I, sorry, I think this may have fallen over. I've read what I did. I opened all the cards on yesterday's vlog. Mm. Um, so Wilson's estate agents have got a welcome pack there. And there's a bottle of bubbly and some other things in here. And obviously, um, people nice. have been sending cards and everything, which is quite sweet. Yeah, thanks everyone. Um, That's very sweet. And all the rest of it. And I say a lot of things are just hanging around temporary. These were brilliant. These are the smoke detectors and carbon monoxide. Um, the yeah, they work on the app, and now I've got some kind of a Wi-Fi here. Oh, hang on a minute. So Peter Webster sent these. Lee, Lee's had these. Um, nice pair of binoculars. Yeah, I saw these on the video. <laughs> so I've been to Gibraltar Point uh, with Lee, um, looking at seals. Mm, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. The covers. Bit dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So from June, you'll have all summer and a, and a year to go and seal watch, bird watch. Do you know what's really nice actually talking to birds? When I just arrived, I was uh, parked up the car outside, started unpacking my bits, and the loudest sound was the goldfinches chirping. Yep. It's so peaceful here. Yeah. It really is. Uh, and we've just moved the final boxes out of the corando into the garage not vinyl i'm afraid where what else have you got There's some paperwork at mom's can't be much it's, still, it's quite bad still God. sorting out and obviously the stuff i'm still using while i'm at sarah's right anyways but once sandra we get moved in moved in like we both agreed we need another cult another, de -clutter. another de -clutter, big de big de -clutter. i did what i could but it was hard i mean it's so hard also still working full time and it's quite so there's <laughs> even though I'm leaving there's a lot going on with the day job which I'm trying not to get too involved with but yeah it's been hard yeah, yeah. um so it's a good job I bought kettle and I got some coffee and I even bought you some tea bags thank you um I don't know if you noticed or not um yeah, brought me herbal tea now yeah so, so I think what we're going to do here we're going to order a Chinese Pretty smart that thank you Yep, it's coming up to half seven. I've escaped off the nurseries. I'm not any phone calls and any dramas. Um, I think Lee thinks he's maybe finishing about ten. Um, so I said we'll get a takeaway for him when he comes in. He can just put in the microwave and warm up. He said I want. He said I want ribs. So I've said said to people who've been sending coffees and super thanks in recent weeks that that what's come in it's the treats for everybody um oh, so yeah so yeah there's quite 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 a few super thanks and get sandra a drink or get this and that and everything so uh so i think very happy because it's just so nice to have like you know two or three days now and just a bit of calm and get used to the new place and yeah, a bit of time not in a caravan in plenty of space you're not in a bed and breakfast where you've got to be checking in and checking out in little rooms. It's all yours. It's all your space. It's, uh, yeah, really nice. Right, I've got a menu. And I think we'll phone up. Oh, you can you can phone up. And then we'll drive into Wayne Fleet. So Chinese was all right, actually. It wasn't too bad. The ribs were nice. Excellent. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. All right, so... If, where have you gone, Sandra? Gonna get a Chinese. We've ordered. That's what I'm walking to, but you've not you've not been here at night, have you? So, uh, yeah. Hey. Staggering. It's very blustery. It's been re relentless. In a bit. It's been a busy day. Right. Some Chinese just down here. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good evening. Right. Um, sorry, it's getting on a bit. We uh, Lee, Lee didn't finish work till ten o'clock tonight, so we've shot from here to 
Ingham Ells down the A52, the nice easy way. And then when I decided to... <laughs> Random detour on the way back. I decided to put the sat-nav on and see which way it would bring us back and never it's again. <laughs> never again. <laughs> down some remarkably windy, dark lanes. Uh, anyway, Lee's back with us. Uh, we finished you off when we went to get a Chinese, so we've now eaten our Chinese. Lee's gone to his man cave, clutching chicken fried rice and a load of ribs. You've just been sorting out some papers and envelopes. Where's, we're just going to grab that Simu bag, one second. Just, just grab that. So, when we do a product review, I normally start doing, when I start a product review, I normally say these are products that we would like or we think you would like. And the other day I did a, a, t- a mini Timu haul and I had a little bag, a document bag. That's really good, isn't it? So, so new, new house stuff. Yeah, but it's all like expands and everything. So, so yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so, so. There's not too much to sort out, thankfully. A lot of the change of address stuff's all gone through pretty smoothly. So not too bad at all. It's just, just one little bill to pay. I think it's all gone through remarkably. It, it, my pensions, smoothly, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I've done my pensions. I've moved over and everything, and mm-hmm. driving license. Every, I think virtually everything's done. Almost, I'm sure there'll be other things. Uh, we need to get some letters done to people that, like, we send Christmas cards to. Um, mm-hmm. But oh yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm going to do in a minute, coming up. In fact, Sandra can do the introduction now because Sandra did some couple of video clips on the way here with which repeat some of the detail which you've already said like about your mum's vase and it, it, this is like a week af- after the event as well so today is good friday but this will be next friday i've been very busy nearly <laughs> i've got no idea you've been busy <laughs> yes. you, you've been busy yes very. i've just been sat on i've I'm, I'm just been sat on me chuff I've, I've, I, when did I come here? Was it was it the fifteenth of February? Am I on six weeks, seven days a week, another day off? Anyway, I finally got around to catching up with some of the videos, and there is going on about why have I been sent this Art Deco vase, and I'm just like rolling around laughing basically. <laughs> so, so I thought I'd explain what it was all about. Right. So, so do you want to explain about the videos what are coming up? Because we'll end our video with your videos. Go on, tell people what's coming up. Yeah, yeah just uh, obviously we sell the house. I'm still working, so I'm staying with a friend or with family. And so this weekend was the first chance for me to come and be in our house as owners. So I was like super excited about that and about coming over and... Seeing Neil. And yeah, but do you want to explain about the videos, what's coming up? The videos, it's just... You're signing a car, having a waffle. Yeah, me driving over, having a chit-chat on the way over. Yeah. Coming up now. Hope no. you enjoy it. <laughs> so we would normally at this stage now say goodbye, but we won't because it's over to you. Say goodbye, Sandra. Uh, over to you. <laughs> no, it's over to you, not me, because this is, this is me here. It's over to you there, right, to coming say up. goodbye. Now, well, it's not goodbye because you're coming up next. Hi. It's Good Friday. I'm in the Corando. I'm on my way over to Lincolnshire. And I have a car full of stuff. And I'm expecting a bit of jip when I get there about the amount of stuff in the car and it's not even all the stuff I've still got some stuff at Mama's Night Sarah's as well so I predict another clear out as <laughs> and when we can manage that anyway um, I did what I could with what little time I had what can I say anyway um, yeah so um, it's a beautiful sunny afternoon we've had quite a few heavy showers coming over so far that's a bit halfway along the 62 somewhere uh, I'm still recovering from the big move so obviously I'm still working as well and it's all a bit frantic and um, yes yeah, so I'm looking forward to a couple of days just 
hopefully a little bit more chill time, chance to spend some time in the new bungalow. Uh, yeah, and then um, <laughs> at least once I get this Carando up to Neil, that'll be one more thing off my list that I've got to think about, which will be good. So just having a quick break, quick bite to eat before I carry on. I've not done much filming really because I've just been pooped basically. Uh, so I've just been muddling through, uh, getting through the working week. <laughs> Let's see, a bit of time with mum, a bit of time with friend Sarah, a bit of time with Hannah. Uh, this week uh, Hannah asked me to come to yoga with her, which was nice but knackering. And um, it's Sarah's, it was Sarah's birthday yesterday, so we went out. She just choir on a Thursday, so we went out on Wednesday night. Uh, celebrate Sarah's birthday, so it was nice. Um, yeah, and then I was trying to get a bit of a line this morning, but where Sarah lives, they've been redoing the roof on the flats. So all the scaffolding's been up ever since I've been staying there. And they decided to take the scaffolding down at about eight o'clock this morning. Woohoo! So uh, I never did get me lying. So yeah. Anyway, um, will I ever catch up on my sleep? We shall see. <laughs> anyway, so so that's me. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, hope you go enjoy the Easter break. I know I will. And um, explain to Neil about the um, Art Deco vase, and uh, yeah, so that what the story behind that anyway. Tell Neil listen. The story behind that was that when Mum moved from her previous flat to her current flat, she was trying to declutter, so she got rid of this Art Deco shell uh, flower vase. And then she was telling me all about how she spent all the years since, which must be about, I think, eight years now or something, regretting getting rid of this vase. Anyway, so I had a quick look and I found an identical one online. So, so I said, for mum, for her 91st birthday, uh, we, we get a, this replacement flower vase. I did tell Neil it was in the post. He must have forgot. He's got a lot on his mind at the moment. So, <laughs> so that's... The mystery of the vase. <laughs> so let's uh, wrap it up for Mum's birthday, which is in April. Not long now. So anyway, that's a little waffle from me. I'm just on a quick break at services, so I thought I'd uh, see if I could find the camera, which I did, and um, have a quick natter. So anyway, I'll be. Uh, finishing my lunch and getting back on the way quite soon so see you all later now let's nail up the camera stuck in my face as soon as I get there <laughs> that's what you get when you marry a photographer I didn't really think that bit through at the time but you know you kind of get used to it all right speak soon all bye hello excuse the hair it's a bit wild out there I have arrived uh, bless him, Neil's so busy, you didn't have time to whip a camera out. It was like, there seems to be a lot going on out there. It was nice and sunny on the way over, but it's piddling down with rain at the moment. But anyway, I have. I have keys to the new house, so that's very exciting. Rasha is here. Can you say hello, Rasha? Hello, Rasha. So it's really nice to see Rasha, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> yep, so um, we're sheltering from the rain <laughs> until it's not quite so torrential out there. And then uh, I'll go back and um, see how Neil's doing, but I'd, I'd like to get over to the bungalow while it's still light. Uh, I've got a few things to unpack as well. Right, um, speak soon. Mm -hmm.